So these two phones, the iPhone 13 mini and Samsung's Galaxy S10e are really the last two premium compact phones from big companies, from these two big companies. Nowadays, we don't really see um, premium compact phones, you know, around this price range of six to seven hundred dollars. Apple basically discontinued the mini line and Samsung hasn't come out with the e phone since the Galaxy S10e itself. So I knew a comparison between these two phones would be a good video and also because of this user, shout out to him, because there is still a demand for this type of phone. A phone that doesn't necessarily break the bank but isn't a giant phablet looking thing. Looks wise, both of these phones are still pretty good looking. The 13 mini's design is just a little more newer, I guess a little more modern you can say with its bathtub notch. But personally, I just love the design of this Galaxy S10e, especially this blue color here. Something about those these rounded edges that make it really easy to hold in the hand. And just something about this back, this finish that's smooth yet somehow very grippy as well. The screens are pretty nice to look at too. It's a OLED on the iPhone and a AMOLED on the Galaxy here, which makes it just a bit cleaner, a bit crispier, but you really have to look at the phones side by side to really notice that. Either way, these phones, especially the Samsung, still stacks up pretty well against the phones of today. So battery life is gonna vary depending on where you get these two phones from. You can still buy these phones new, which I think is the move. But if you are going to buy used, just be very careful where you get them, especially in the Samsung's case. The Samsung does have a decently bigger battery than the iPhone 13 mini. And you could definitely tell because you can easily get a day of, of use still from the S10e. While, you know, on the 13 mini, it's pretty difficult to get a full day of use out of that thing. I'm speaking from experience because I used it for a year but somebody with a new battery might have a different experience. But basically, whichever phone you get, you want a phone with a new battery. So these are some of the key differences that I think should affect and would affect a buyer's decision between these two phones. So the Samsung is a year older and some change than the iPhone, and it is, of course, an Android. So that means that it pretty much stopped getting big software updates now. Um, all it gets now is just uh, regular security patches, which is still good, but the iPhone came out in 2021. We know for not certain, but we pretty much know that this iPhone is going to get updates for at least another three or four years, probably even longer than that. So if longevity means a lot to you, then really the clear choice is the iPhone just because of that software support. But regardless of how many software updates the Galaxy S10 gets, it still performs pretty neatly. It can handle all the basic tasks and apps just fine, but it is just a tad bit behind the iPhone um, in speed. And that brings me to the point that if you need a burner phone, I think the Samsung is the way to go. It's fully functional, it still has a decent battery, and it's pretty cheap too. Really the main key difference between these two phones is the price. A used Galaxy S10e you can find for 200, 100 in some cases, while a used 13 mini is gonna be at least 400. So I think that price discrepancy is just because of the reliability of the Samsung. It's past its prime, you could say, but it really just comes down to the buyer's need. Do they need just some burner phone type situation or do they really want a compact phone to be their daily phone? So it's really just up to the buyer. Get this cloud. Oh, this is nice. Zoom it in a little bit. 1.8 on both. Ultra wide. Check that out. The moon, and I believe that's either Venus or Jupiter, either way, I thought it would make a great shot at night. Uh, I wish it would focus. Here we go.
So both of these cameras are still pretty impressive. They both still take great, amazing photos and videos. Uh, the videos especially are very good on the iPhone. The photos I prefer of the Samsung more. You could say they're oversaturated. Uh, you can say they're you know, somewhat overprocessed, but I sort of like that look. And when you compare them side by side to the iPhone, the, the iPhone photos just look a little too bland, don't they? But then the selfies are better on the iPhone. Just because it won't blow out the sky, it has a more dynamic range. But then you can also say that the Samsung is more useful. It has more zoom, it has more features in the camera. But either way, both of these phones take great photos still, and you really can't go wrong with uh, taking pictures with either one. So it's all good here. So both of these phones are still functional and they still work great, which is good. As I'm getting lit up by mosquitoes here. And if you are looking between these phones, hopefully it was a good guide for you uh, in deciding which one to get. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.